you uh, can you talk about the goal and, and were, you, were you even worried and maybe surprised that the goal counted? Uh, I wasn't surprised. I mean, I think they got the right call. Um, yeah, it was, uh, I, I think by the time, you know, I'm putting that puck in before Swayman's going to be able to get over there, whether Coyle is, was, was on him or not. So um, I think that's the reason why it stood, and, and that's how I saw it as well. Did you hear all the talk going into tonight's game of uh, Boston's coach kind of calling you out a couple times? Does it seem like you were kind of unbothered by it on the ice? Yeah, I mean, you, you hear you hear it all. Um, I got a good taste for it last year in Toronto, so, um, you know, I just, just kind of, I guess, used to it. Um, it's it's playoff hockey. People are going to say what they want. Um, obviously, there's passionate fans here. They're going to cheer for their team. They're going to do whatever they can to, to pump up their team. And, um, yeah, we, we have our game plan. We we know what we need to do, and we're, we're not affected by any of that outside noise. Do you, do you get nervous that? coming into a game like this, though, where they might be looking to retaliate or get retribution, or, or you just are that type of competitor where it doesn't bother you? No, it's, <laughs> it's playoff hockey. I love it. Um, yeah, I'm, I uh, I think I get a little little extra juice, a little extra excited for for these games. But um, no, I, I I enjoy every every second of these games. Got two nothing. How do you how do you guys kind of keep good composure again? This atmosphere is tough. The crowds into it to overcome and make this comeback. It's just the belief in this locker room. I mean, we uh, Lundy got us a, a huge one there in, in the second, and then coming into the third um, intermission, um, you know, our, our entire team had the the belief that we were going to win this game. It was so positive in this locker room, and um, you know we knew we were we were getting it. So uh, it was just a matter of time. Markov obviously does impressive things all the time, but the way he scored the game winner there. What was your view of that? Obviously, just cutting through the entire defense. Oh, it's incredible. It's uh, you know it's so much fun to watch Barky play hockey, and um, you know I think for anyone else that's that's a career highlight goal, and for him it's just another day in the office. So um, pretty remarkable what he can do. And so, adding, uh, can at you home 3-1 just. How do you guys close this out now on home ice? Yeah, it's uh, you know it's important to just to regroup, recover right now, regroup. Um, you know, it's going to be a huge, huge game at home. Um, I'm sure, the fans are going to be into it. So just, just regroup, refocus, and and prepare for for that next game. Sam, on the Marshan hit, there's a lot of accusations that you did that you knew what you were doing. Can you s speak to that? Yeah, I, um, I just talked to, talked about that on the, on the TNT broadcast. It's just. It's it's one of those plays where he's coming to hit me. I'm I'm trying to brace myself. It's uh, you know I, th there's no way I would have had time to to think about punching him in the face like like everyone said. But you know people can have their opinions. Um, I know I, it definitely wasn't intentional. I'm, I'm bracing myself as he's coming to hit me, um, and it's unfortunate that he got hit. Obviously he's he's a heck of a player and a big part of that team. So um, you know it, it, it's unfortunate, but. Um, by no means was was that uh, you know an intentional punch in the face. Thank you, Charles. Thank you.